Hey, you, you ever listen to the songs they be singing in church? Who wrote these bunk ass songs, man? Somebody need a ghostwriter. Somebody need to write these people some lyrics. These bunk ass slave songs. Hey, church a waste of time. You know what I learned about church people? They really just believers. They really don't read the Bible. Niggas be in church for 40 years plus and still haven't read the whole Bible. Bitch, it don't take no 40 years to read a book. Bitch, that should take a week max. Bitch, if God was that important, you should read the you should take time out of your life to make sure you read the whole book every day. If God was that important, if I knew that the Bible was something that really meant the world to me, I would get fired from my job. I would quit everything, bitch. I gotta read the word of God. I'm not going to work. I'm not going to school. I'm not going to nothing, bitch. God got me. I'm not going to nothing until I'm done. I'm not going to work. My manager going to call me. You coming to work today? Nope. Got to read the Bible. <laughs> And if you fire me, you going to hell. Hey, the average church person just know about Adam and Eve and Moses. The average church person don't know about nothing else. I remember my first told my mom, I said, Mama, you know in the Bible it say women not allowed to teach. It must be quiet in front of a man. She going to tell me, man, that ain't in there. I said, damn. You been going to church for how long? I remember I told her that. She was looking at me. She was so flabbergasted. She got mad at me. Why you, why you got this fake Bible? I said, mama, it's in there. What you mean? She tried to ignore it so much, I opened up her Bible. She going to tell me I didn't switch her pages. You didn't switch my pages. Why you trolling me? I said, damn. So you mad at me because of your Bible telling you to shut up? <laughs> Yo. Hey, when I was little, I just knew about all the regular stories. I just knew Adam and Eve. When I was little, I just knew Adam and Eve. I just knew Jesus died for our sins. I just knew Jesus walked on water. I know he turned all the water into wine. I know Moses parted the Red Sea. I know uh, Noah had a bunch of animals on his ship. I knew John was the Baptist, and I knew the devil. That's all I knew. I didn't know nothing else. And I did the Ten Commandments. I didn't know nothing else. Man, when I got older, started reading the Bible. I'm like, oh, man, what's this? Oh, it's all type of stories in the Bible. Man, they be talking about fucking and all type of... It's some freaky shit in the Bible. Man, when you get to reading the Old Testament, it's some freaking... They be doing freaking... As he calleth it, sucking it, the weaneth it. God said, thou shalt not suck if the weaneth it. Man, it's all type of freaky things, man. Moses and all them were doing freaky. They was fucking in, there's some fucking in the Bible. Thou shalt not suck if the weaneth it. Oh, I'm telling you. Man, I was reading something in Ezekiel, Ezekiel or one of them. He said, man, he shall not sleep with more than one wife. He only sleep with three. I, I said, wait. But he said, 
And it was some wild shit. He told the nigga he can't sleep with more than 10 people. He got to minimize it to three. I said, damn, God, you let the nigga have three wives? Oh, he a player. What it was, Job or one of them niggas had a bunch of wives? I said, God, a code. God talking about he my favorite. I'm going to let him have all type of bitches. Yo, God like a cold nigga. He got favors and all that. God, so he cold. He got mad at Joe because Joe's not listening. He gonna take all Joe bitches. Joe was ho. Joe was a. Joe was out there with no hoes. God, a cold nigga for that. Hey man, why God take all Joe bitches, man? That was Joe bitches. He took all his bitches, gave them to another nigga. God just be passing the hoes around everywhere. That was Sol- was it Solomon and Job? I forgot which one it was. One of them niggas, God took all the nigga bitches, gave them to somebody else. God just be passing nigga bitches. <laughs> Yo, God, a cold nigga. Hey man, you don't need all them bitches to give them to somebody else. What about the bitches, though? Do they even got to say so? Sheesh, God, you you like a cold sexist. God don't give the girls no options to pick. He like, go over there and suck his dick. Nope, nope, don't suck Solomon dick no more. Y'all said y'all better suck Moses dick. No more Solomon dick sucking and let go suck Job dick down. Right now, bitches. I'll strike your ass down. You look at me wrong. Yo, God, a cold nigga. He just be passing the hoes to the homies. God, the first, God, the first ratchet rapper. Pass it to the nigga Moses. Fuck the bitch. Pass it to the homie Moses. God, like the first, he the first one. He the first nigga that rapped about passing the bitch to the homies. God, a cold nigga. I fuck with God though. God, like, God. God's so much of a cold nigga, he just do shit for the fuck of it. God the type of nigga just create a spider. <laughs> man, what's wrong with you, God? He talking about, man, life too easy. I'm going to create a poisonous, spidey thing. <laughs> man, he human steady walking around like everything okay. All right, keep playing with me. I'm going to create a bitey thing in the woods. You're going to walk right to a spider wheel and get bit like a bitch. Yo, God, cold. Me and Reg were talking about this, man. Why did God make a shark? <laughs> no, like, no, for real, for real, for real. Oh, it's the real shit. What was God thinking when he made a shark? <laughs> they really swim around the ocean fighting <laughs> like sharks really swim around the ocean all day biting what you make a shark for god you like you you like you just want a nigga life to be hard what if a nigga want to swim to hawaii you just made it hard you made it difficult what if a nigga was like, you know what, man, I'm going to just swim to Hawaii. Fuck it. It's a real live, big, great white thing just swimming back and forth. They don't never go to sleep. Have you ever seen a sleeping shark? Have you ever seen a great white shark sleep? No. No. They really just swim back and forth, biting. <laughs> oh, <laughs> really think about it. Great whites is like real live. They like water police. <laughs> they just swim back and forth to reef to reef, looking for somebody to bite. What type of... God, why you make that? <laughs> Yo, God really made it difficult. He talk about, oh, and for you niggas thinking y'all gonna swim across the river, I got little sharks, piranhas. He made piranhas. Why would you make them? 
They look like tiny sharks. He talking about for the niggas think they can get across the river. Hey, I'm going to make some baby sharks for your ass. That's even more vicious. Yo, God, like a cold nigga. He just made the whole world different. He made, he made centipedes and all type of shit. Damn, I'm out of here. Dummy snacks. Fuck you, niggas, dog. That's it. I'm getting for the night. What's up, my G? Man, work, bro. Buy one of them, get one free, right? That's what it say. Yes. Oh, we lit. Oh, we lit. Oh, you ain't ringing that up, man. Tomato. I get my receipt, please. All right, you have a nice one, boss. Hey, you know what's crazy? Sometimes I really be high. Like right now, I'm really high. I am high, but I'm really high. Like I got a high, like I'm just, I'm just goofy tonight. Like I'm thinking about all type of funny shit. Like I'm laughing at everything. Everybody looks funny. It's just a weird thing happened to, to me tonight, dog. Oh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sometimes you gotta learn how to make yourself happy though. You feel me? Nigga can't always just be sad because I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I'm really sad right now, but I just found a way to cover it up. But I'm really, really sad. Don't ask me why I'm sad because I know a lot of y'all niggas love, love to dig into sadness. I'm really sad. I'm gonna tell you why I'm really sad. I'm really sad because I really understand how deeply we fucked. That hurt. So sometimes I just gotta just go, you know what? Hey, fuck it. She. We really fucked. Want me to tell you how deeply we fucked? 
My nigga, vanilla is black. They made vanilla ice cream white. Vanilla beans is supposed to be black. Vanilla extract is black. They made vanilla ice cream white. Uh huh. Uh. They just made everything white. Oh. Uh. We doing. thinking about a lot of shit, bro. I don't think other people be thinking about the shit I be thinking about. Being able to really see what's going on in this world is a fucked up thing, G. That's wild, look. My nigga, I don't know if y'all can see. I really left my cookies on the top of the car. I drove with them like that and all that. Hey, I'm like a cold nigga for that. I'm looking for them all in the car. They on the top of the car. That's how you know I'm hot. I'm looking for the cookies everywhere. They on the top of the car. Cookies is up there talking about, wee! Look at that. Hey, what's wrong with you? Do I smoke? No, nah, I don't smoke. I be wanting to though. I ain't even gonna lie. I be looking at all my friends who smoke. They look so happy. I be wanting to smoke, man. I think like, I ain't gonna lie, I'd be like, man, like, if I smoke, like, I think I ease a lot of my pain. I, I got a lot of pain going on, G. I don't act like it, but I really got a lot of pain. Yeah, a lot of shit wrong with me, man. Huh? I be knowing, I be knowing, like, hold on. Let me tell y'all what would be really bothering me. 
will be bothering me is I understand, no, look, I'm going to get real serious with y'all real quick so y'all can really understand. What will be bothering me the most is me knowing that there's literally nothing I can do to really fix the world. It's really too deep. The layer of traps, the layer of programs, the layer of designs, like, I know that I don't have enough time. That's what bothers me. This shit took tens of thousands of years to get in place hundreds of thousands of years of like removing history books texts erasing people breeding certain breeding putting people in certain poverty areas so they can breed with these people like the water down of a people genetically destruction inferior to like language replacement like sometimes my mind goes so deep down the rabbit hole and i like I get anxiety. I know I might look like a strong person, but sometimes I get anxiety. And whenever I get anxiety, it's based on me looking outside and go, everything is a fuck from the clouds. Like the clouds is fake. Like the weather is fake. Weather is controlled all my life. I used to be like, how the fuck they know the weather forecast? How you gonna tell me how hot it's gonna be Friday unless you making this shit hot? Bitch, it's, it's Sunday. How the fuck you got a full weather forecast to next Sunday? How do you... Yo, know, everything is a... Everything is a setup. Like, everything... Bro, you don't understand how deeply they control this whole matrix. When I start thinking like that, my mind start panicking. Then the world start crashing. Then I start shaking, all type of shit. And then I have two options. At that moment, I go, either you can let yourself go down this rabbit hole... Or you could just go do some wild, funny shit to just disrupt the Matrix. So when I do shit like the P. Diddy, Plaid TV shit, or I do all these wild shits, that shit is because I be going through those little things that have me thinking too hard about this Matrix. So I have to do some wild shit in the Matrix to balance myself. thing is I know I can't win I try to I try to get y'all inspired I try to wake y'all up every day I wake up every morning trying to keep y'all niggas on the right path but I know deep down in my heart we lost I know deep down in my heart we really lost this war <laughs> I want you to really think about this we are all, every day we wake up we try to get a piece of paper with George Washington face on it <laughs> I want you to, I want you to really think about that every day we wake up we try to get a piece of paper with George Washington face on it. Everybody, not just black people, everybody. Yo, it's kind of crazy when you think about it. Everybody on the whole planet. Wake up and try to get a piece of paper with George Washington face on it. This shit kind of crazy. The fact that they designed this shit like that is like, sheesh. It ain't even, stop saying this too deep. It ain't even too deep. 
people like look at this nigga i need money and fame but you know how many niggas want money and fame you know that's the end goal for everybody long as i get some money and long as people know me and long as i get likes on instagram and views i'm cool with that you know that's the end goal for maybe 90 percent of people in today's times the end goal See, for me, money don't bring happiness. I ain't going to be happy to all these motherfuckers erased from the planet. That's when I'll be happy. And when I say these motherfuckers, y'all know what I'm talking about. Money don't bring me happiness. I don't really care for money like that. That's why you don't see me flashing money. You don't see me, like, spending money on crazy cars and all that. Because I don't really care for none of that. I'm not going to be happy till I see us back to where we supposed to be. I can fake happiness. I can fake temporarily happiness. But I'm not going to be happy until the people that ain't supposed to be here is gone. That's how I feel. That's the only thing that'll make me happy. The people that ain't supposed to be here need to leave. And if you know deep down inside your heart that you ain't supposed to be here, you gotta go. If you know you in a country that you ain't supposed to be in, you gotta go. You ever think about we pay for what's ours? One of the biggest lies they ever told us is the slave trade. That's a lie. That's a lie. It wasn't no slave trade. That's a lie. But it's already here. We were already here. We were already here. We are the Native Americans. We were already here. such thing as no cowboys or Indians. That's bullshit. We were already here. The fact that we got to pay for land that's ours, the fact that we got to pay for things we invented, the fact that we got to pay for all the stuff we invented, we got to pay for it. This shit crazy, bro.
them ain't natives. The people you see that they label natives, them ain't natives, them Indian Mexican mixes, them ain't natives. All native people to America is dark skin, bro. This is why if you go to South America, majority of the people in South America are dark skinned. The Brazilians are dark skinned, but now they watering down them motherfuckers with the lighter ones. They're dark skinned. The motherfucking Belize is dark skinned. The motherfucking El Salvadorian is dark skinned. All the motherfuckers dark skinned. Even if you go deep in the deep Mexican rooted, the deep, deep Mexican, them motherfuckers even dark. If you go deep in the Mexican community, they really dark. You, I'm talking about Mexican Mexicans. They be darker than a motherfucker. <laughs> this is actual facts. Are already here, man. It was already here, bro. <clears throat> we was already here. We ain't never come from Africa, bro. We didn't never come from Africa. We didn't never come from none of that. All that's bullshit. So you ever think about this? They could find the Titanic. They could find all type of treasures in the bottom of the ocean. They didn't went to the Mariana Trench, but they can't find not one single slave ship. They didn't found ev They found every single piece of wreckage that ever crashed, but they ain't found one slave ship. All right, cool. Cool. You ever notice how black girls used to always say, I'm Indian? Remember that was a thing around the hood? No, oh, look. Around the hood, that used to be a thing. I'm half Indian. But we was so screwed as black people. Man, bitch, you ain't no Indian. Man, bitch, you ain't no Indian. You black as a motherfucker. The whole time, she really was. The whole, but this how program we was we used to be like you ain't no motherfucking Indian you black this how program we was we really are the Indians we are the Native American we are all of that we the Indians, we the Native Americans, we the Americans, we the Chinese, we the Australians, we the Europeans, we the everything, we the everything, we the Alaskans, we the everything. We are the actually everything. <laughs> We was actually Romans too. If you if you do the history, I think it's called Etruscan, Etruscan, Etuscan. I forgot the name of it, but you could Google it. Just Google Black Romans, and the first Roman civilization was black too. They got erased off the history book. You could go Google this.
kind of wild, bro. We really, really got erased from the book. Hey, Zerp, don't tell me to look within, my G. How do you think I know everything? You don't have to tell me this. I ain't a bookworm. I don't study. I don't read. I don't do any of that. I don't have to. I've talked about this numerous times. All the answers to everything is on our DNA. The moment you learn how to tap into that, you get the answers to everything. I don't study. I don't read. I'm not in libraries for hours. I don't read books. I don't care about none of that. I told y'all niggas I already tapped all the way in. Whenever I want to answer, I really just sit there and the answer will come from inside of me. I'm tapped in. So, y'all want to know how to tap in? <sighs> Alright, so, there's a lot of ways. I'm going to give y'all some things. There's a lot of ways, like, when you're sick or when you got a cold or, or like, things like that, right? Like, or even, like, with basketball or even, like, sports. Like, you have to tap in certain ways of thinking to overcome certain stuff. Especially when you tap into basketball or even when you're a runner, like a long-distance runner or cross-country runner. You have to tap into a specific zone to be able to hold up running to a specific length. It's about tapping in, right? Type of thing you have. Right? You have to tap in. When you when you don't want to go to work but you still gotta go because you know the bills gotta pay, you gotta tap into a way of finding a way to get through the day. You gotta tap in, right? This is the same thing, right? The problem with life is I keep telling you this, how often do you look in the mirror and actually talk to yourself? How and how often are you able to give yourself a reasonable answer? So sometimes you have to look in the mirror and you have to really talk to yourself. You have to man up. Don't be afraid to look yourself in the eyes and actually say words out of your mouth and literally talk to yourself. Don't be afraid to talk to yourself in the eye. Looking in your own eyes. So the most of the times when you look at other people, you look into their soul, right? That's why when you make eye contact, you get certain emotions, certain feelings from certain people when you make eye contact with them. Um, so... Sometimes it's okay to look into your own soul, right? And sometimes you can go so deep inside your own soul within your own self that you start to see like or you it's almost like your eyes become inside of your body, right? And you can kind of see your bloodstream, you can see like you can see nano, like you can see blood cells. It's like all it's weird, right? It's, it's weird. When you understand what we are, like, think about it. We got eyes. We got fingers. Like, our brain sends signals to our hands to move. Like, you really think about this. It's kind of wild. But our brain, our brain sends actual signals to our fingertips to move. Like, all right, I'm going to give you all a test right now. Sit here and look at your hand and then move a finger. Move one finger, move another finger, and just keep moving your fingers, but slowly, like move them one at a time. Really sit here and try to think, how the fuck am I moving my finger? Right. Really think about it. Like, how, like, I'm able to do this. Like you're able to actually move your fingers. Right? You're able to move your hands. You're able to move your you're doing this shit from your mind. Once you start thinking about it, you can almost feel the signal. Can you feel the signal? You can 
trying to feel the signal. Once you start really thinking about it, it's like, yo, shit, I can feel, I can feel the signal go from my mind to my finger. Like, I can feel the shit. Once you start digging deep into that feeling, right? Like, you start digging into the signal. Once you dig into the signal, like, you try to track the signal, right? And once you start tracking the signal, you start tracking it from, uh, like, a nano perspective. You're like, oh, shit, okay, I know what that is. It's a specific type of energy. It's electrical shock that carries a specific type of protons, neutrons, boom, 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 boom. Positives and negatives, electrical shock. That pumps the shock of electricity all the way down to my arm, from my fucking arm to my elbow. No, actually, because it, it stops at each bone. So it goes from the brain to like the neck and then from the neck to the shoulders, then from the shoulders to the elbow, from the elbow to the wrist, from the wrist to the finger, from the little first little where your hand ball up at the top part, of your knuckle from your knuckle to your little middle finger bone. Each one of those bones is a stop point. And then from there to the tip of your finger, bow, right? Once you dig deep into that and you start to get control of that electricity, you'll start going deeper and you're like, yo, what's inside of these fucking little protons and neutrons and positives and negatives? And once you go deeper past the positive and negatives, you start to go into DNA. And once you start to look at DNA, you go, oh, shit, there's words on there. Wait, what did they say? Oh, shit. And that's kind of how far I went down the rabbit hole. This will come from not smoking and just sitting there thinking. If you actually just sit there and tap inside your own mind, you literally can break down your entire anatomy. Easy. If you actually just sit there, you can literally break down your entire anatomy from your whole body. If you actually just sit there by yourself. People fail to realize, people fail to realize all the answers are within us. We don't have to go out to search for nothing. All the answers are within us. This is why scientists understand DNA code. This is why scientists study DNA code because they understand everything is within us. You don't, everything from the past is already inside of us. You just got to remember it. You got to find a way to unlock it. Everything is passed down. Habits, ways, mentalities. All that shit is all passed down. Memories. All that shit is passed down. It's all recycled. You can remember all of that shit. You just got to tap all the way in. And it comes from sitting there thinking. How often do you sit and just think? What's the longest you ever sat and thought? Now, this is a serious question for all of y'all. What is the longest you ever sat there and thought? With no distractions, no TV, no phones, nothing. Just sat there and thought. Inside your own head, what's the longest? You say three hours, three minutes, pray, meditate. I'm not talking about prayer or meditation. I'm not talking about none of that. All right, all right. I'm gonna give y'all another task. I'm gonna give y'all another task, right? If you get an off day, an off day, like like when y'all not at work, like I'm talking about a free day. I don't give a fuck if you got some hoes lined up, you got a bitch lined up, you got a motherfucking boyfriend lined up, whatever you got lined up, cancel it. You need to find a day where you could spend 24 hours with yourself. Find a room, find somewhere you can go into and spend 24 hours by yourself. I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. You're going to go crazy. Your mind, you're going to start seeing stuff. You're going to start, colors going to change. It's damn near a DMT trip. When you go deep inside your mind, what you gotta realize all that DMT shit is already inside of us.
it's a DM. It's literally it's a DMC trip gonna happen. You are gonna see all. It's scary. Look, it's very. I'm telling y'all now, it's scary. But don't fear it. It's scary, but don't fear it. It's just seeing what's really happening in the world. Now I'm gonna tell you, you can't cut it off. When you do this, you can't cut it off. Right now, I see colors. I see all type of shit. Every like. Nothing is right. That's why when y'all be like, yo, is daylight retarded? Can he spell? It's just the way I see life. I don't see nothing right. I don't see, I don't hear words the same. I don't see nothing right. Everything is like dissected. Everything, everything I do is dissected. Everything I see I see words, I see acronyms, I see the code. All right, a movie that I need y'all to watch, right? Lucy. Have you ever seen the movie Lucy? That's me right now. I think I'm on about 75%. I think right now I'm on 75% of using my... I think... No, I'm going to be honest with you. I think right now I use about 50% of my brain. About 50%. I'm way past moving shit. I'm way past thinking shit into existence. I'm all that shit is in the books already. I'm way past you know, one time Reg would tell you Reg would tell you one time I was hurt. I we played basketball, I really fucked my shit up badly. My knee was popped out of place. I couldn't even walk. I said, Reg I'm about to fix this shit. He talking about, what you talking about? I said, watch this. Man, I did a little thing where I thought about my leg being fixed. I got clean up and walked like nothing happened. He said, how the fuck you do that? I said, look, it's in the mind, G. It's all in the mind. all in the mind y'all gotta tap in man y'all gotta tap in it was hyper extend I hyper extend my shit so I stepped wrong and then my knee pushed inwards so it's like a hyper extend yeah, I was kind of fucked, but, and then after that night, I was just sucked up the pain, thought about it, feeling better, and it, it didn't hurt no more. You just got to tap in, man, like, when you really tap inside yourself, man, the world become a lot easier. I'm going to tell you a valuable thing too. You know why people are struggling? Most people are struggling because they can't see their self getting over the hump. Let me, let me say that again. Most people are struggling because they can't even envision themselves not struggling. They are stuck in their own way of thinking. You can alter your entire reality just by thinking about it. It's, that's it. it's literally that serious. You can alter your entire surroundings just by thinking about it and believing it. It's simple. Very simple. Think. Change your surroundings. Change your whole life. Just by thinking about some shit. And thinking is a form of meditating. And that also goes back into what I was telling y'all about taking some time out of y'all life 
to actually tap into your own way of thinking, answer yourself, talk to yourself, ask questions, right? They tell you talking to yourself is for crazy people. Nah, it's not. All of us have two people in our, all, none of us is one person. I hope y'all know that. None of us. I want you to be quiet right now. Don't say nothing. And I want you to say a word inside your mind. You can hear that shit. Close your mouth and say words inside of your head. You can hear them. You can actually hear a nigga talking inside your head. That should let you know that there's two people in there. Telling y'all. It's kind of crazy, man. 